Hey, what's up guys? This is Dinesh here and you're watching Digitech. Here's a full review of the Mi A1, which launched almost two weeks ago. After about almost two years, Google gave back the life to its Android project partnering with Xiaomi now. Let's get into the full review. Let's take a look at the phone first. At front top, we have the earpiece, the notification LED sensors and the front shooter. To the bo bottom of it, we have the massive 5.5 inch Full HD display followed by the capacitor keys. To the back, we have the dual 12 megapixel shooter and fingerprint sensor, the ML logo and the Android One logo. To the bottom, we have the headphone jack, Type-C port and the single loudspeaker. To the right of the phone, we have the power button and the volume rockers. To the left, we have the SIM card slot and to the top of the phone, we have the IR blaster. To all your notice, the same phone is sold in other countries as the Mi 5X with Mi UI running on it instead of the stock Android version. And this part, since it is part of the Android project, in India it's named as Mi A1. At first, I would like to talk about the performance of the device. It's powered by Snapdragon 625 coupled with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage which is backed up by a hybrid SIM slot which supports up to 128 gigs of SD card. The specs looks the same as the Redmi Note 4. On day to day usage the phone was snappy as it should be. It had no issues with that. On and another on Unto 2 it scored an average of 59,000 which is not bad. It's pretty good and I played Asphaltite which is a graphic intensive game and I had no issues with that. The game was super smooth. After a bit of gaming, the phone went a little bit warmer too but it's not a big deal. It's not that much warmer. Uh, it was quite comfortable to hold even with that. Coming to the battery department, this one has a 3800mAh battery backed up by a Qualcomm 3.0 quick charge technology. But Xiaomi is not shipping this phone with a quick charger as the OnePlus um, to reduce the cost I think so. It is, has only a 2 amp adapter with it which does not charge the phone that much quickness. The phone lasted almost till the end of the day with around 13-20% left and you can't expect this to be like the Redmi Note 4 which had a massive 4000 milliamps of battery. The screenshot which has been displayed now was taken after 30 minutes of uh, gaming the Asphalt 8 and it drained from 90 to 75 percent at the particular time. It showed almost 3 hours, 6 hours left after with a lot of files downloading at the background as you can see at the top of the notification. If you are too much in 20 time and then this would be the right phone for you. Then Full HD display and 403 pixels per inch. The color reproduction in this display is quite good and the outdoor viewing angles were, was great enough and by default the white balance of the device was a bit on the higher side. So when I used the phone for the first time under indoor conditions it was quite irritating to my eyes it's my personal opinion. and. That's it for on the, the display and concerning about the 3.5mm headphone jack, this is where the things get interesting. Xiaomi has integrated this with an dedicated audio DAC which provides the best in class audio output from any smartphone at this segment. I have tested this with an Bose 225 earphones and, and Skullcandy headsets and the sound output was phenomenal and the best in class. The single loudspeaker present in this phone is also quite loud enough and coming to the camera department, Xiaomi was very keen on marketing these as a flagship cameras and the camera was promising though. There are two mega, 12 megapixel sensors, one with a wide angle lens and with f2.0 aperture and other with a telephoto lens with f2.6 aperture. The pics taken from the rear camera was quite good enough under the well-lit condition and even in the low light condition the camera performed quite good enough even with lack of optical image stabilization. So the camera, the MA1 gets a thumbs up in the camera section and it has a 5 megapixel front shooter with f2.2 aperture and a beautification mode. So 
and I'll be doing a dedicated camera review for this Mi A1 soon enough and please do subscribe to my channel to watch that video. Being an Android 1 device, the Xiaomi Mi A1 delivers a stock Android experience right out of the box. It runs on Android 7.1.2 Nougat which is on the most recent versions of Nougat available on Android device at this price segment. While well, some will see stock Android as a welcome change from the MIUI software that comes preloaded on all other Xiaomi devices, there will be many who are fans of MIUI too. But Google has said that the MIUI one buyers will get unlimited high quality storage for photos and videos, which is a common feature available across. Overall, this Mi A1 is a value for money smartphone and the best in its segment uh, considering the software and the hardware. And what do you think about the smartphone? Let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. If you new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon right next to it so that you'll get notified when our video goes live in my channel. And if you like this video, hit the like button. That's it for all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one.